What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Saul Canelo Alvarez, four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is the undisputed super middleweight world champion, widely considered to be the face of the sport of boxing, defeated British super middleweight star title contender, John Ryder, via unanimous decision. Uh, he dropped John Ryder in the fifth round of the fight. And then he badly hurt him in the ninth round. I thought, and as you guys see my fight prediction, I had Canelo Alvarez beating John Ryder by uh, 11, uh, by ninth round stoppage victory. Okay. Uh, ninth round knockout victory. Uh, I was almost right. Right. It was close. Right. It was close to being a ninth round stoppage victory for Canelo Alvarez. But, um... John Ryder survived. Canelo Alvarez got gassed out. Uh, and it was a tougher fight down the stretch. But in the beginning of the fight, uh, Canelo Alvarez absolutely was dominating John Ryder, in my opinion. Uh, John Ryder was having success. As I told you guys, he would have success at times because uh, he's a southpaw. He's he's big. He's strong. Um, and Canelo Alvarez takes his time to calculate the information. Uh, with that said, Canelo Alvarez, he won the fight. I thought he could have stopped John Ryder in the ninth. Uh, he kind of let off the gas in the ninth uh, because of fatigue. And then in the 11th round, you know, uh, in the 12th round, he definitely let off the gas. He was fatigued, okay? Uh, John Ryder was landing sneaky uppercuts and sneaky hooks on the inside. And Canelo Alvarez had busted up John Ryder, man, landing his jab at will, landing a right hand at will, uh, landing a left hook to the body at will. And was trying to land the right hook, but John Ryder refused to let Canelo Alvarez land the right hook. And so Canelo Alvarez wins unanimous decision. With that said, everybody wants to know what's next for Canelo Alvarez, who is now uh, 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 wins by way of knockout, five for eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Uh, what's next for Canelo Alvarez? Uh, he's steadfast on, foc on being focused on uh, a showdown with. Uh, a rematch with Dimitri Bivol, okay? Uh, Dimitri Bivol, he beat Canelo Alvarez in dominating fashion, in my opinion, uh, when they fought against one another. And Canelo Alvarez is steadfast on attempting to get, uh, uh, to rectify that loss, okay? So he wants to fight Dimitri Bivol extremely bad. Uh, Dimitri Bivol has laid down his rules and as, as it pertains to a rematch, as he stated, uh, that if he rematched Canelo, it has to be a super middleweight, 168, right? The first fight, uh, this fight was back in uh, May of 2022, and uh, that fight was at light heavyweight. Uh, Dimitri Vivo won a unanimous decision, and he feels like Canelo Alvarez and the fans and the boxing media and pundits made tons of excuses, uh, giving Canelo Alvarez a pass and saying that Canelo Alvarez is a, not a... Um, uh, a, a, super, a light heavyweight. He's a super middleweight and a middleweight, okay? Uh, and Bivol wasn't happy with that. He didn't get his just dues and his credit. Canelo Alvarez also stated that he had an injured hand in the fight, uh, which hindered him from performing at the best of his levels. So Dimitri Bivol is not happy with it. He said if he rematched Canelo in September, Mexican Independence Day weekend, that it has to be in Canelo weight, 168, and he wants Canelo Alvarez undisputed belts to be on the line. Well, we know that's not going to happen because WBC World Boxing Council President Mauricio Suleiman stated that they're not going to allow Dimitri Bivo to fight for their title and represent their belt. So even if he came down, that belt won't be on the line. Um, but he could be a unified super middleweight world champion. Uh, but Canelo Alvarez is uh, uh, not interested. He wants to fight same rules, same weight, everything against Bivol at 175. Uh, which simply is not a good idea. Uh, Canelo Alvarez, what, what I saw tonight, uh, he's definitely slowed down a lot, okay? Uh, you know, uh, he's definitely not uh, ex as explosive and uh, uh, quick as he once was. Uh, and, you know, um, I think that Dimitri Bivol's style is a terrible matchup, especially for this version of Canelo Alvarez. He's too technical. He's too slick. Uh, he has too high of a ring IQ. He's He uses his jab. He's consistent. He has power. He's accurate. It's just too much of an uphill battle for Canelo, especially at 175. He has he's a better chance of trying to 
weight drain Dimitri Bouval and get Dimitri Bouval uh, down to a lower weight, right, at 168. And then there's the fight with undefeated two-time WBC super middleweight world champion, Mexican Ecuadorian superstar boxer, and David the Mo Mexican monster Benavidez. 27 wins, no loss, no draw. 23 wins by way of knockout. 26 years of age, six foot two with a 75 inch arm reach. Uh, he's coming off of a big uh, win, a 12th round victory over Caleb Sweethand Plant. That was March of this year. Uh, this was, you know, Caleb Plant, Canelo Alvarez beat him. So that's the fight for Canelo Alvarez is David Benavidez. Uh, David Benavidez doesn't have um, defense. That's where I give Canelo Alvarez a, the edge in that fight because he lacks defense. But David Benavidez has extremely high work rate, extremely fast hands, power in both hands, uh, and is very consistent and very aggressive. And I think that he can absolutely start to zap Canelo Alvarez's energy and stamina and possibly beat Canelo Alvarez in the later rounds, right? Um, but that's an interesting big fight for Canelo Alvarez. And obviously, they was talking about tonight, the fight was in Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, it's 5,000 feet above sea level, so they was talking about the stamina. But again, Canelo Alvarez just simply does not look explosive. He don't look as athletic as he once was. His hand speed is not the same. Uh, his accuracy does it seems a little bit off, and that could be largely in due part to what John Ryder was doing in the ring. Um, but even in, in the Triple G fight, he looked lethargic, right? Uh, but he had the hand surgery. Uh, maybe this was a fight that he just had to get back in the rhythm and the groove, and soon he'll get back and fully 1,000% and be able to you know, uh, perform better. But this version of Canelo Alvarez definitely is not going to beat Dimitri Bivol. Uh, it's definitely a 50-50 fight with David Benavidez. And the only reason I say that is because David Benavidez likes defense. At times, he gets hit with everything but the kitchen sink. And he had an extremely hard time finding Caleb Plant in that fight uh, until the second half. But again, he wore Caleb Plant down in the second half, and he got to him. Uh, and he started landing big, clean punches. But Caleb Plant was able to hold on, survive. And, and he's a vet, and he's experienced. So he made it through the 12th round. Uh, with that said... You know, those are the two big fights we want to see Canelo Alvarez in. But we got to see how it unfolds. Nonetheless, he gets a unanimous decision victory over John Ryder tonight. And we'll see him back in September. But let me know what y'all think, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.